long, long before Castell Koch was made into the fairy tale castle it is today. It was a medieval fort owned by the Lord Ivor Bach, or Ivor the Short. Ivor had quite the reputation. In the 12th century, much of the land in southern Wales had been conquered by the Normans, who had also conquered England. Norman lords had been placed in these newly conquered Welsh lands to control and subdue the people. The man in charge of the area around Castell Coch and Cardiff was William Fitzrobert, the second Earl of Gloucester. William's father was one of the many illegitimate children of King Henry I. Ivor, a native Welsh chieftain, then became a tenant of William. Ivor and William Fitzrobert did not get along, to put it mildly. In 1158, it is said that Ivor raided Cardiff Castle and captured the Earl of Gloucester, his wife, his heir, and a daughter of another earl, and absconded to the woods until he had been given back the land that was taken from him. A fort was created for Ivor Bach, and his life entered in to legend. It is said Ivor ruled from Castech Koch from the day it was completed until he breathed his last breath. The story goes that Ivor amassed a huge amount of wealth during his reign, and as his life was drawing to a close, he became deeply concerned with what would happen to both his body and all of the belongings he had amassed when he died. Ivor became paranoid and horrified that thieves would come and steal his body and his treasures. Legend says that Ivor decided to transform two of his guards to stone in the shape of eagles to watch over and protect him and his possessions, standing guard at his tomb forever. When the time came that Ivor finally died, his body and his wealth was buried deep beneath Kastech Koch in a secret chamber. It is said that some time later, two thieves came to try and find the fabled treasure of Ivor Bach. When the two thieves reached his tomb, the eagles came to life, giving the thieves such a fright that they fled as fast as they could. It is said, Ivor and his eagle guards still lie somewhere beneath the castle.